Choose your fighter. Fight. 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 What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, thanks so much for checking this video out. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and stay a while. Today, I am moving out of my parents' house, officially. It feels awesome. Um, my car is packed to the brim. I have to go to work um, from 8.15 to 2. So I will be leaving work and then immediately going over to start moving my stuff in, which is like super exciting. I'm going to try my hardest to vlog everything. Um, I don't think I'll be doing much decorating right now, which is like the exciting part. Basically just like moving stuff in, but you can probably expect a lot of time lapses and such. But um, this will be like a compilation of a couple days over. So um, hold on one second, I need to order my Starbucks. Guys, I have a new order. It's exciting. This is the Grande Ice Dopio with the one cup of white mocha, one cup of toffee nut, light soy milk. Perfect. The lady at my Starbucks is literally so sweet. Like every day. You guys, I go to Starbucks like every freaking day. She's always working. She's always like hustling. She asks me how my day is going, what I'm up to. And she noticed that I had like my car packed full. She's like, are we moving? I'm like, yeah, it's a moving day. I was laughing so hard one day because like the line was so long. Like the Starbucks line was so, so, so long one day and I was like running late to work and I was like, the heck is taking everybody so long? Like this is so obnoxious. You know, typical like you're late to work, you're frustrated, you want to take it out on everybody else kind of morning. And I get up there and her voice like just was like asking me like what I wanted. Then I realized that she's asking everybody what their favorite animal is and why. <laughs> no, I think it was if you were going to be any animal, what would you be and why? And I was like... This is why it's taking so long. But then I took a breath and I was like, you know what? Like, mornings don't need to be like that all the time. Like, it doesn't need to be like hustle and bustle and rush around and like, you know, kick through the line and just like get your drink and go. Like, number one, if you're stopping at Starbucks in the morning, you should have time to stop at Starbucks. It should be an experience, not just like running through and oh, I'm late, but I have to have to get a coffee because that's usually my mentality. But ever since that day, she's seriously changed like my perspective on mornings because it's like she's just so carefree just asking everybody like if you wanted to be an animal like what would you pick like I'm just like it just got me to slow down and kind of think about the morning and gave me something else to think about other than whatever I had to do that day and rushing around and everything so she's just really sweet and I had to tell y'all what's up guys I am leaving nannying now that air going though Hold on, I'll check back with you in a sec. I need to blast this baby. Okay, I might just have to talk kind of loud because I feel like the AC is like blasting and you might not be able to hear me, but I am headed to my roommate's parents' house because she was moving out of her apartment this morning and then the U-Haul is now at her parents um, where they had to drop like her brother's stuff off and blah, blah, blah. So anyways, um, I need to meet them there because she has my set of keys and then also... Um, we are just gonna head to the apartment from there. I'm gonna dump this entire load of stuff off, move the furniture in, and then come back to my parents' house, probably load up the car again because I don't even have any of my clothes in this car right now. I'm running through McDonald's right now because I absolutely have to or I'm probably gonna pass out. It's 86 degrees right now, which is not your ideal moving temperatures, but at least it's not pouring rain, I suppose. need to fix my brakes so yeah i need to like refuel myself with super healthy food this is why i'm getting mcdonald's hi, hi. thank you gotta make sure that hot mustard is in there i am obsessed with mcdonald's hot mustard if you haven't tried it yet you have to it's not very like it's not super spicy but sorry guys there's a lot of bumps in here and i have a lincoln tailing my ass it is so good. I literally cannot eat any of their food without it. Like, I'm not even talking just french fries. I dip everything in that shit. My cheeseburgers, my snack wraps, which by the way, they don't have right now because of coronavirus, which makes no sense. The McDonald's in Kent was like, uh, keep this on the down low. We're supposed to get them back by August. I'm like, the f what? Like, what is the secret that like <laughs> your like snack wraps aren't coming back until August? Number one, that's a load of BS because the snack wraps are like the only thing that I usually eat there. I'm about to try this cheeseburger. But anyways, enough about a McDonald's rant. I need to turn this off and get kicking. 
Catch you guys on the flippy flip. That was so gross, I'm sorry. I am gonna be just like totally honest with y'all right now. I'm just not the kind of person to whip my camera out at any given time. I think I mentioned this earlier, but I am so stressy. Let me put my seatbelt on. I just left the house. I promise I haven't been like driving for miles without it. Um, But I just don't wanna like add to the stress and I don't wanna be like that person who's like videoing like while everyone else is doing my work, if that makes sense. I just don't get how people do these like vlogs. Like, I don't know. I guess I could prop it up maybe and do like a time lapse. So maybe I'll do that. But I am going to see my apartment for the first time ever right now. Number one, I am so stoked to be back in an apartment complex. Like I haven't, I've only lived in an apartment once um, in college. My first year I lived in a dorm. My second year I lived in my sorority house. The third year I lived in an apartment, best year ever, 100%. I think junior year was my favorite. And then senior year I lived in a house and then um after college i moved into a house with a friend and then i moved back home so that's obviously a house and then now i'm finally going back to an apartment and i'm so so excited i just like apartment life so much i think i just feel like it's easy and it's small and i just like being in like a little space like that i don't really know how to describe it not a big deal anyways um we are going now and i signed without touring or anything because of coronavirus like they weren't letting us go in and tour the apartment or anything so i literally have never seen it but my roommate taylor who's like helping me um move all my stuff in from my storage unit just now she's in front of me in the u-haul truck um was like the dining room was a lot smaller than we thought like your your table's like not gonna fit um she and she also had a coffee table already so we don't have to move like my super heavy coffee table so good news and bad news good news is that we don't have to move it they're so heavy they're literally from pottery barn and like super super big like i don't know how else to describe them they are now still in my parents storage unit so that's the bad news and i'm not sure how my dad's gonna feel about it so we'll have to talk that over um but i don't know i mean honestly i might just look into selling them seeing what i can get for them i guess i don't know regardless i'm so sorry that this vlog has just been like me talking in the car soon soon you will see we're gonna go shopping at ikea tomorrow I mean, you'll see me in between, but we're gonna go shopping at Ikea tomorrow. And then also we are going to, um, I'm gonna be doing like some decorating over the weekend. So again, it's Friday. This is just the beginning. Haven't even gotten my stuff moved in, but I have a lot coming for you guys. So stay tuned. Unless you cut off the pipe or down here, it's not gonna work. How do you cut it off? You just would cut it off. All right, you guys, I am in and all of my stuff is in too, <laughs> but I obviously have not done anything yet. Ben gets off work in um, like 15 minutes and he literally works across the street from here. So I'm just waiting on him to get off and come over and like kind of help me set everything up. I'm not even really sure where I want everything or like how I want anything but um I have some good natural light so that's awesome I'm not gonna give you any more of an apartment tour because nothing is like done or ready and I just like don't want to like show you guys anything until it's ready I'm just that kind of person um so I'm gonna try to get everything here situated for a little bit okay so I still need a bed like a bed frame and I'm not sure if I like this layout yet. This is my closet, which I obviously have not done anything to yet. Um, I have to like unload. This is just like decoration stuff. And obviously I'm in no position to be decorating right now. I'm going to try to have that, like do that tonight after a couple glasses of wine. Um, and so this is my closet though. So when I bring my clothes back um, later tonight, I'm going to hang them up. Obviously, So I just don't know if I like this yet. So let me give you the full boom okay so you walk through the front door here's my room and i just don't know if i like the setup i definitely of course was anticipating it being larger than it is which is okay oh my gosh i haven't shown y'all my view yet how freaking pretty is my view i can't get over it it's so nice i love it so um what's gonna happen i think i'm gonna mount my tv above excuse my nails they're disgusting I might mount my TV here and then decorate on top and then have like my cube storage there. 
mirror because ugh, obviously I bought this mirror to take like mirror pics and I want there to be like light decent like a decent bit of light I don't want to put my mirror like over there or there because the light comes in backwards and I would always be dark um and then I just wanted like a pretty atmosphere for the or setting I guess for the background so I feel like the mirror goes good there but then I can't like shut my door like I'll have to move my mirror every time I want to shut the closet door which isn't like that big of a deal I guess so then tv there and then storage and then just a couple different like little things like I'll put decorations on these walls here um like I have a letter board and like a big circle mirror that might go over my desk and then just decoration nightstand with my lamp and then this is my bathroom um I just have like my what are they called bath mats <laughs> and then like this is the color I'm going for so my shower curtain is this color just like this sage and then yeah that's my bathroom <laughs> nothing really that great to see here so I don't know I mean I'll update you guys but I feel like I like the way that this all looks for right now also this like dirtiness this is disgusting this was like sitting in my parents um basement when they were redoing it so when my dad was like spray painting the ceiling black <laughs> all of the debris like came on here that's why it's like that it's not that dusty don't worry so I'll keep you all updated Ben is on his way and then we're gonna head back to my house which is like 25 minutes from here and pack up all the rest of my clothes and then kind of get my closet situated so So we are, Ben's never been here before, but we are going to, gone. we are going to go through here and it's like 10, what time is it? 11, maybe 10 45 ish. We want to try to leave by one so we can be back by three. Cause we got like lots to do this afternoon. Yep. Yeah. Busy, busy. Putting our masks on popular people, right? Hard problems to have. And, um, then we're just, yeah. Gonna try to find some sh good stuff in here. Yeah. Do I look okay? Yeah, I look great. Well, the lines aren't even that long. We're lucky, actually. <laughs> I'm 12. Got my bed. Thanks, Benny boy. Woo. What's up guys? Happy Sunday. I have so much to do today. I have to run back to my parents because I feel like I brought some extra stuff that I don't need. Um, like I accidentally grabbed all my mom's pillows off the guest bed and I know she's gonna want those back. So I need to return the pillows. I need to um, pick up some stuff I forgot. I need like my fire stick remote. I forget this in every move. I swear to God, every time I move, like, because I usually use my phone as the Fire Stick remote. I don't know if you guys, like, if you have a Fire Stick, like, a Roku TV, whatever, like, you can get the app and then, like, use that to change because my remote runs out of battery so fast. So, I always forget my remote. You need the actual remote for setup when you're at a new place with, with like, new Wi-Fi. So, I have to go back and get my remotes because I left it there, of course. Um, I need to run to Target and Walmart. My list originally has just, like, stuff that I can get from Walmart and I just wanted to run there. Um, however, I have a lot of returns to make at Target, so I'm thinking if I can get most of the stuff at Target too, then I will just, um, make my returns at Target, put it all on a gift card, and then just use that money to buy, like, the things that I need, because I feel like everything I needed from Walmart I can probably get at Target, just little stuff, like, toiletry stuff, I need, like, a standing lamp, because, guys, my freaking room does not have a light, how frustrating is that? I'm so mad. I'm literally, like, I'm more mad that I should be about it, but I'm actually, like, so frustrated because my room gets awesome natural light during the day, but then, like, it gets so dark at night, obviously, <laughs> and I, like, have to use my bathroom light to, like, I don't know, to light up my room, and it's, like, really frustrating. Um, so I just pulled back in. I was at Ben's at, like, overnight because my friend from Colorado actually came back into town. I haven't seen him in, like, 
10 months. So I had to go up to Kent. We did like our last hurrah. Ben moves out on Friday. Um, So I look like this, so I'm not showing you. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep my sunglasses on. But I'm heading inside right now. I'm gonna start, Um, I need to like shower and like get together. Cassie's gonna come over, help me decorate go with me to um the stores and everything do some errands so she's like free for that little bit of the afternoon so i'm gonna like take advantage of that and um let her help me decorate because i'm a little decorative challenged i don't know if that's a word but i like honestly need some help in the interior design aspect so it'll be fun um yeah so i'll check back in with y'all later just realized that i haven't picked my camera up but basically we just got back from target and i hung two of my plants and this mirror and Cassie's helping me put together a lamp <laughs> it's not going well don't buy lamps from Ikea I have not been vlogging like as much as I wanted to but Taylor and I are putting together our gallery wall in the living room what up and we have this well she had this really good idea okay well somebody what's her name okay so she watched her video where she cut out newspaper clippings the size of what we were, what you're hanging. And then you tape them up so it's so much easier than like trying to like put them all up there and space them out the way that you wanted to and yada yada yada. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna show you a quick little time lapse of us figuring our gallery wall out. Today is Monday, June 29th. Yesterday, after we were like setting up the gallery wall and everything, we had to run to Target, Walmart. Where else did we go? We went and got burgers at Freddy's and Shakes. Um, we went one other place, oh, Walgreens, because I had to make my, like pick up my prints that I'm that I hung over my bed that you can't see right now. I'm just looking up at them. I'm excited to show you guys my gallery wall, our gallery wall. Um, that last clip was like uh, how we like decided to set it up and everything. Um, that will be shown in Friday's video, um, my like apartment tour video. So if you're watching this and you haven't really seen what you wanted to see, like my decorations, how I set everything up, what my apartment looks like, make sure you're subscribed to stay tuned for Friday's video because by the end of the week when everything is set up <laughs> and put together, I am going to film an apartment tour and then that'll be up on Friday for you guys. Um, I'm so extremely tired. I'm so sore. I have to go to work right now. It's 7.30. Um, and when I get home tonight at like 6.30ish, 6.45, I'm going to finish setting things up, edit this video that you're watching right now. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but I'm gonna sign off here. Um, I so appreciate you guys tuning in. I'm so glad that you were here to watch me move. It's so stressful. I've done it. You'd think like if I've done it every year for the past five years, I'd be like a pro at it now. Not really. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed. Don't miss Friday's apartment tour video. I will see you then. Peace out guys.